Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another season of the Final Spin. We're right here in Oklahoma City for the Cinch USTRC National Finals of Team Roping, where we have 64 of the very best US Open teams in the entire world. They're fixing to go down right here inside the arena to find out who is actually the best of the best. Stay tuned to the Final Spin. Welcome, welcome to the, to the Short Rack. Short rack. Into goosebumps, turning them skids into saddles and pickups. Wishful thinking won't get you here. Practice makes perfect precision and skill. I'm a believer, call me the healer. Champions don't have time to take a breather. Time to get loud and it's time to get gritty. I see you all up in Oklahoma City. This is what we all came here for. Let's go, let's go to the short road. Gotta be fast if you wanna hear the crowd roll. Well, 16 seconds separate the top 20 teams right here. And baby, it is short round time. Get them straight, get them tight, and let's do this deal. Oh, you bet. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get it on right here as we go to Turtle Pal, Cody Pearson. They are 40 and 68. Oh, let's rope, let's get the money, and let's have fun. That's what it's all about. All right, and we got a little money to give away right here, $256,000. Oh, let's do it. Turtle Powell, Cody Pearson right here, 40 and 68. Oh, let's make some money. Got the broken barrier. Oh, and they sealed it off right here, but a barrier. They're gonna be 10 and 34, and they're gonna lead the roping right now at 5102. Let's go to Kelly Barker, Izzy O'Hawkes, California and Texas. They are 3681. They're the 19th callback. They're next to go. They're going to be followed by Casey Hicks and Braden Harmon. Callback number 18. Be ready to go. Here we are. Kelly Barker, Izzy O'Hawkes, a dropped rope. They're going to go out. It'll be no paycheck for them at callback 19. No ah. time. Give them a round of applause if you would. All right, here comes Casey Hicks and Brayden Harmon. These guys are 35-50. They are 35-50, so they got to be like 15-51 to jump in there, number one. They got to be followed by Jake Barnes. Tyler Worley second out, get the money. Casey Hicks is on the head side. Brayden Harmon's on the back side. Get you some money. Get you some money. Oh, you bet. It's the short go round. Look at there. Oh, oh, no. They're going to be no time. They're going to be no time. All right, let's go to the veteran. It is Jake Barnes, Scottsdale, Arizona, Tyler Worley, Bluffdale, Texas, his partner. They're 35 and 18. They're the 17th callback. They've got to be on this one, 1583, to take the lead of the roping. We have grown up watching Jake Barnes on the heading side. He is a many time, 20 plus time qualifier to the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. He has won just about every major roping and team roping and rodeo around the country. Watch the man from Scottsdale, Arizona. Folks, do not let him leave here without a round of applause. Would you tell them that we have enjoyed watching them today? They're going to have some tough luck. It'll be no time for Jake Barnes and Tyler Worley. All right, that's going to be J.B. James and Brock Hansen right now. J.B. James and Brock Hansen have got to come with it. 17-28 is uh, what they could do to go to the lead. But that's not what they're worried about. They're worried about those that are after them. They want some of that top money right here. JB James, Colorado, Brock Hansen, Arizona. Let's go for it and let's get this deal going right here. Come on, come on, let's see it. It is the short go round, and we are at the 16th high team back. JB James on the head side, Brock Hansen to the back. Oh, no, no, no. They're going to be no time. We are going to go to callback number 15. It is Del Martin, Whitesboro, Texas, Coleman, Oklahoma for Chris Young. We've had one team catch their steer. Del Martin on the heading side. Chris Young. 
There's the nod, and we're underway. Front half's good to the back half. We are, yep, 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 yep. They're good, they're gonna be here, five and 93, and they'll go to the lead of the rope, and now with a total of 37 and 64. All right, we're gonna move now to Cody Snow, Dugan Kelly. Cody Snow going to his first uh, national finals rodeo. Dugan Kelly on the back side of the 30-36. 7.27 for these guys. And that put them in the number one spot. Blaster and Tyan, you're gonna be second out. Here's Cody Snow on the head side. This guy's got some game, hooked him. Now Dugan Kelly, do your deal. Oh, 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 no time. Ty blasting game, we call him the blaster. You're gonna see why in just a minute. You back this guy against the wall, he'll throw some rope. Levi Tyan, Wallace, Nebraska, his partner with a 29.75. We're at callback 13. We have had two teams catch. We are paying in the average six monies. This team needs to be 788 to take the lead of the roping. There it is. Oh, yeah. How about that? They're going to be good here, 538. And they go to number one, their total, 35 and 13. Woo, that was wow. wild. All right, we're going to go now to Colby Lovell and Travis Graves. 2966 right here. Lovell on the head side, Graves to the back side. They're 2966. What needs to happen? A 546. You got some more guys that rope good, rope fast. All right. It's game on, boys. Here we go. Colby Lovell, Travis Graves. 546 or better to jump to the lead. Clark Davidson second out. Lovell not going to work. Lost his whole rope. No time. Let's go to the 11th back. Stephenville, Texas for Corey Clark. Cole Davidson. They're 28-32. This team has got to be 680 to take over the lead of the roping right now. That 538 by Blasting Game and Tyen has put the pressure on the next few to rope. Markham and Simons, you're going to follow this team. Simmons, here we go. They get a barrier and a leg. 10 in penalties are going to be 1468. They are a total of 43 flat. They're placing in the roping right now, but there's a lot left to rope. night I was real nervous. I haven't been that nervous in a while just because I didn't want to mess up or I didn't want to lose my hat or fall off or make the wreck worse than what it already was. <laughs> and the main reason for our job is in case the bull rider gets hurt or gets knocked out where he really can't do nothing. I mean he's laying there and the bullfighters can, can only do so much to get in control of the bull, and that's where we kind of come in there and put a rope on him and, and get things under control. The title of it is actually called a safety man. That's, that's what we're there for. And, and then, uh, so that's our first priority. And then the, our second one is maybe if the bull don't want to leave the arena, so we kind of kind of got to keep the show going. That's kind of our second job is to maybe rope them and lead them out and show them which way to go. Those bulls, they're, they're just not bulls. They're actually kind of superstars. They're, they're, they're stock contractors, babies, and they put a lot of work into them and they take care of them each and every day. So there is a, there is a, a line there where, where you got to take care of the cowboy and you got to take care of the bull. So, I mean, there's, there's lives involved in one hand the bull rider and then there's the part where you have to take care of the animal also it's a pretty important job where you can't you can't just go in there and rough stuff up or be in the wrong place at the wrong time it's a job that i always wanted it's it's a it's a actually an important job but then it's a fun job because i love horses and i love bulls and i'm a bull riding fan
everybody knows that dynamite comes in uh, small packages. Kale Markham may not be the biggest guy out there, but he's won a bunch of those reaching contests. His partner, Nikki Simmons to the back. They're 2808, they gotta be a 704. 704 to jump into the lead of their open. Dees and Yates are gonna be second out. All right, Kale Markham. Here's the Oklahoma boys. Nikki Simmons to the backside. Went and got old paint out of the business. Let's do this. Kale Markham right here. Hooked him around the horns, Nikki Simmons. Yeah! Yeah! 561, and they were halfway down the arena. 3369, they're the new leaders. We've got nine to rope, Reed. Oh, you are watching the best as we go to Junior D's, Aurora, South Dakota. This young man has proved that he needs to be here in the open. Trey Yates, Pueblo, Colorado, from the Yates family. They go back three generations of rodeo and championships. 2707, these guys got to be 661. And they are going to be no time. Would you give them a round of applause as they ride out of this arena tonight? No time. All right, here's Brandon Beers, Jim Ross Cooper. These guys, best friends for a long time. They're 2702. They're going to be a 666 right here to jump into the lead of the Roping. They're eighth. So if they put the hammer down, they could jump inside the top six, take a paycheck out of here. Brandon Beers, Oregon, New Mexico for Jim Ross Cooper on the backside. Jake Cooper, Corey Coach, you're gonna be second out. All right, gentlemen, let's go for it. It's Brandon Beers right here. He's got him. Now Jim Ross, do the deal. Oh, oh, oh no. It's gonna be no time. It's gonna be no time. We got seven to rope. Well, you just watched his brother. In fact, you watched his twin brother, Jim Ross. Here's Jake Cooper, Monument, New Mexico. 2682, he did it with Corey Koontz on forehead. Stephenville, Texas. They've gotta be on this tier, 686. 686 to take over the lead of the roping. Wouldn't quite guarantee him a paycheck, but they would be within striking distance. Derek McGay, Clay Cooper, you're gonna follow this team. Here we are, this is Jake Cooper. Corey Koontz to the back end, and one that's just a little bit out of reach. Would you give them a round of applause? They're gonna be no time today. All right, here we go, here we go. It's Derek Begay and Clay O'Brien Cooper. These guys are 25-32, and these guys rope so good. They are 836 away from going to the number one spot and guaranteeing them $15,400. All right. Well, we got to pick up man for the PBR on the head side and the champ to the back side. Clay O'Brien Cooper. Derek Begay, let's go for it, gentlemen. 25-32 is their time. Look at this. Derek's got him. Now, Clay O. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 646. Ask and you shall receive. They're going to be 3178. They are now number one, and they're going to walk out of here with at least $15,400. It's not over yet, though, because we've got Charlie Crawford and Colin Von on chasing them right here. They're 25-22 coming into the short go-round. They've got to be 6.55 if they want to take the lead of the Roping. It'll be Francis and Passig. They're going to follow them from the Northwest, now living in Texas. Charlie Crawford, Colin Von on, and they're going to rope a leg as the smoke comes off the horn. They're going to be here 10 and 87, and that is going to give them a total of 36.09. That is fourth in the roping right now. All right, Chris Francis and Cade Passick right here for the 25 and 16. Stick's been a champion of this roping before. He's got to be a 661 to go to the lead. 661 to go to the lead. Stick got him around the neck. Cade Passick. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. 603, bada bing, bada boom, baby. 3119, they are number one on the average. They are guaranteed no less than $26,400. Here's the third callback as we go to Blake Hughes and Brady Norman. They've got to be 617 to win at least third place. That'll be $37,400, the third high callback. It'll be Trinan and Corkle. They're going to follow this team. Here's Blake Hughes. 
Here's Brady Norman, Sulphur, Oklahoma. They reshape inside of that box. They've got to be 6-17 to take the lead of the roping. All right, we're underway. Come on. Come on. There it is. We're good now. Dally up. Yep. Yep. How about a 601? And they are going to be a total of 3102. That's exactly what they needed to do. They take the lead. They're going to win no less than third place. All right. Here's the champs from the other day in the open prelim. Clay trying on the head side. Jade Corkill to the back side. With a 24 and 52, they've got to be 649 to guarantee $48,400. Send it Jenny Moats, you're gonna be second out. All right, Clay Tryon right here. Jade Corkill, we get the nod. We're in hot pursuit, great start. Horns, no, they cut him around the neck. Jade Corkill, healed him. And they're gonna be 656, oh man. That's gonna put them second right now as they're 3108. We've got one to rope read. That team is gonna win him a good paycheck. Let's go to the final team. We call him Spinagini. It is Aaron Sinagini, Tuba City, Arizona. His partner is Ryan Motes on the backside. Here is the reigning champion of the world in the PRCA on the head and side with Aaron Sinagini. They've gotta be 679 for the win. 679 to win $72,600. It all is on their shoulders. Let's do it, guys. We know they can. Get on the edge of your seat. Help them right here. The Navajo Nation represented on the front side. To the back end, it is Ryan Motes. Come on, Ryan, by two feet on the wall. Yeah. They're going to be on this one, 722. It is going to put them a total of 34 or 3144. That is going to drop them down to fourth place. And here is the win of the roping. It's going to be Blake Hughes and Brady Norman with the 3102, $72,600 richer. And this is what anyone would live for, really. I mean, that's a great feeling. There's nothing better than being that nervous. I mean, I love it. So, you know, just focus and just do what you got to do. And so then you, you go in there, you run your first year. Tell me what happened. Um, First year was I didn't throw a very good loop at all, really. I got blessed on that one for sure. But I knew my horse worked good. I knew Blake was going to spin him, so just you know, do my job. And so then, uh, then when when did it when did it kind of start opening up? You realized, hey, we're in a position we could actually win this rope. Yeah, after our second and third one, I mean, it felt my roping struggled all week, and it felt really good today. Um, some days it just clicks, and today it felt really good. My horse was good. So after that first one, when I about missed him and two feet went in there, I thought it was going to be a good day. And and so you get in there, um, you, you come to the short round. What, what did you guys talk about before the short round? Anything? No, we've roped together for a long time. Um, I mean, I know what he's going to do. I'm just, Bill Belichick says, do your job, and that's what I plan to do. So uh, tell me what happened in that short round. Just walk me through the run. Um. I mean, I was going for first, which probably wasn't the smartest thing in the world at the time, but that's just how we've been roping all day. He sets those steers up pretty easy, and, um, you know, just a lot of fun. So, so you're a young guy that's grown up through the USTRC. What advice do you have for that five-year-old kid out there that's, uh, that's watching you on TV right now? What, 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 should, what should he or she do? What, what, where should they go? What, what, and what just, should be their focus? Just keep it fun. Um, it's so easy to get burnt out on anything you do, and then it's not fun. And you don't, you know, when things are fun, that's when you rope good. So I mean, I'm, by all means, you got to work your butt off all the time. But just, you know, keep your perspective on life right, and uh, be thankful, you know, and work your tail off. And anybody can do it. I mean, if you work hard in the sport, you can, you can be great. I mean, it's one of the sports that. Everybody kind of has a good chance to be great at That's what's so neat about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just great weekend. You know, the USCRC to pay this kind of money is life changing for anybody. So it's pretty exciting. And so uh, there were there were a lot of guys in the uh, in the short round that I know that uh, that you've probably um, when you've been roping the dummy or, or practicing you've been that guy before. Hey, I'm so I'm Clay oh, Brian Cooper. Yeah, that was I'm, him. Yeah, and so so. Uh, so tell me, how, how does it feel to, to best those guys on this day? It's got, it's got to be good. Yeah, it's a crazy feeling, really, when I'm standing back here and there's about 10 teams left and I see Cleo just walking his horse around, you know. It's just, 
I mean, that's who I was at seven years old in the living room every morning before school. So pretty special moment, you know, to watch him rope. And, but, you know, I'm, this is where I want to be and this is what I want to do. So it's awesome. time to do it. Well, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Great roping today. We're proud to have you as the champion. Appreciate it. And, and so how, how did you even get started team roping? I mean, what, what attracted you to this uh, My dad and my uncle roped, and so growing up watching them rope, and I started roping when I was probably 10 or 12, and then just liked it ever since. So kind of took it from yeah, there. just took it from there. How, how many times have you been here to this U.S. final? Uh, I don't know, probably since I was 14, so. Yeah, so, yeah. so, I, so a long six, time. About 12 years. So. And, and, and it's, there's got to be a sense of accomplishment. In, in being the champion right there. Finally won something. That's right. That's right. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Tell, tell me about that. I mean, were you nervous? What was going on? Not really. I mean, we rode pretty good all day. My horse has been working really good. So, just like I said, just make sure I give a man a shot. Just don't break out. Don't beat yourself. So, we'll see what happens after that. So.